Hey, hey, everybody. This is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom text frames for Canva for free using Corel Vector. Let's go. Here's Corel Vector, which is a free or paid application on the web. Even if you get the free version, you need to make an account. Everything I'm going to show you today can be done with a free version. I always start off with a paper size, and I typically go with eight and a half by 11. So I either use the portrait or the landscape, depending on the layout that I want to make. And here we are. Let's type out our text that we want to make into a frame. So I'm going to go to the T tool here, click the screen. I'm going to use my caps lock here to type out a couple of words. Let's highlight that and center it. And I'm going to increase the size. So now what I want to do is actually make each of these words a different font. Now I strongly suggest using sans serif fonts because they just give you more space to put something inside of either a video or a photo or even a color. The web fonts that are built into Corel Vector are pretty good. Now you do also have an opportunity to import your own fonts but that's part of the paid version. I'm gonna show you all free stuff today. So let's pick this for the first font. Let's pick something else for the second one, something a little bit more wild. And finally, let's pick something for the last font. Let's get them all on screen. And what I wanna do now is actually increase the size of the last two words to fit the size of the word custom. So we're gonna click that and go over here and Scale that one up. Then finally the word frames, I think is already about the right size. We'll make it a little bit bigger. So we have our three words here. The spacing is fine. It doesn't really matter for what I'm about to show you, but you can adjust the spacing. So I can click on the first one here and adjust the spacing down to make them fit a little bit tighter Then adjust the last one. So here's our layout here. We're already over halfway done with this. Now you have to make a decision at this point. Do you want all the text to have the same background and fill it with the same elements in Canva? Do you want each word to be able to have a different filler or even each letter have a different filler in Canva? So that's a decision you need to make right now before the next step. So in this case, I want to have the option to have each word filled with something different. For this next part, you need a JPEG image. It can be a picture of you, it can be a landscape, it can be organic colors, it can be whatever, but it just needs to be a JPEG. So I made my own little JPEG here from an image from Canva, and I found it on my desktop, I'm gonna drag it into the file. And what I wanna do now is place this graphic behind the text. So I go over here to the sidebar, and I pull it down under the text. And now I want to size it for each word. So I'm going to grab the bottom here and drag it up for the word custom. Make sure that it only fits behind that word. And I'm going to copy it and paste it and move the copy to the other two spots and then resize them also. So frames looks okay. And let's get the one behind the word text and drag it to fit. I know you can tell that this is skewed. They're not proportionally scaled. That's okay. None of that matters in making a frame. So now we have everything we want. We have the three JPEGs behind our three rows of text, and I'm going to click and drag across everything to select it. Then go to modify mask with shape. It is just that simple. So now we have to do is export this as a PDF, open it up in Canva, and I'll show you how to customize it. So now we're going to go to file and we're going to go to export PDF document. Now for the free version, you can export at each of these DPIs except for 300, but the DPI honestly doesn't matter because the PDF is a vector file, not a raster file, which means everything is kind of drawn with math, so to speak. So no matter how much you scale it in Canva, the edges are going to stay razor sharp. We're ready to go. It is exported now. Let's jump into Canva and see what it looks like. Here we are in Canva, and I'm going to go to create a design, import file. 
So now I want to go find the file that I just made for this project. Double click that. And let's click that file. There's one thing that happens when we make a custom frame with Corel vector. As you see here, there's a white version of the text that's layered on top. I don't know why it does that. It's a little nuisance, but it doesn't hurt the file at all. All we need to do is click those and delete them. So now they're out of the way. What's left are custom words that are now frames. So I can click the first one, delete, second one, delete, third, delete, and the telltale sign of a frame is the landscape graphic. And as you see here, as I mouse over each, each one is highlighted separately, which means they can be filled separately. So let's click off of this, click the background to get a darker color just so we can see the landscape clearer. Let's fill them with different elements. We're gonna go here to video. We're gonna fill the first one with a video. We're gonna fill the second one with a photo. And lastly, we'll fill the word frames with a color and we are good to go. We have now made and used our custom text frames that we made in Corel Vector. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.